Hello everyone, welcome back to Altria's playing Stone Block 2 Minecraft style. Alrighty then, I uh, apologise up front if I'm a little bit all over the place today. I'm recording this on the very same day that it's going up because we are having... Things are going down and I uh, can't deal. So I'm just going to play this and hopefully not do anything silly. <laughs> I know that the previous episode was a little bit all over the place. So uh, bear with me, bear with me. Uh, today I want to automate soul sand. And the reason I want to automate soul sand is that we get cool stuff out of soul sand. Uh, let me show you what you get, actually. Soul sand. Uses. Press U to find uses. Uh, if I have a look in the sieve, which is over here somewhere. In the sieve. Uh, nether wart from boring. We can get black quartz and nether quartz. That's all very well and good. Uh, if we upgrade to diamond stiffened mesh, we can get ghast tier out of it, which is something we're going to really want, I think, in the future. So, uh, ghast tiers are going to be important further down the line. Also, we get nether quartz from all of that. So, we're going to want to be able to produce this sort of at a reasonable rate, if we possibly can. And the difficulty with this is that there are not enough sides to these blocks to pipe things in and out. Because we need water, we need sand to go in. We've got a source of sand right here. So, that's easy enough. But we need to get it into here, and then pull it out again when it's turned into soul sand. And, you get the idea? So... Well, it turns straight into saucer, but we need to also pipe water in. So we need to get water into these, wait for it to turn into witch water, get the sand into the witch water, and then immediately pull it out again now that it's soul sand so that it can start filling up again with not witch water. Um, so if I take a bit of sand here, do this. You can't see how you can't put sand in uh, right now. The, the, I can't do anything with it. There's nothing in it. If I put water in it, uh, do we have a bucket handle? I haven't done anything since the previous episode. I know I said I was going to, but I wanted to carry on as I was. Uh, I'll fix all this off camera when I, I can be bothered when I have the spoons. Um, but that's not now. So let's get a bouquet of water. Bung this up here. If we put this in here, it starts turning into witch water. You can see transforming, but I still can't put any sand in it. When that transformation is finished, I can put sand in it. So this means that we can basically continue piping sand from there into there. Whenever it's ready, it will accept the sand, and then we can pull the thing out, and it will basically automate itself at that point. But at this point, we don't even have anything. So what I want to do first is get into Ender.io. If I have a look at Ender.io, they have a form of conduit that will help us out greatly. Let's put conduit. Um, item conduits. These require pulsating iron nuggets and conduit binder. Conduit binder is easy. You make this contraption, then you cook it. The other one is pulsating iron nuggets, which is not so much fun because we have to make pulsating iron, which means we have to go into this uh, smeltery thing, alloy, resonant ender, and iron. I think 72 millibuckets is half an ingot. So this is this is the proportion. Uh, 125 millibuckets of resonant ender is basically an ender pearl. Uh, one gem. 250 millibuckets. So one ender pearl turns into 250 millibuckets. So this is two ender pearls. Uh, this is half an ender pearl, and this is half uh, an ingot, I think. So one of each makes two. Two? Four. Something like that. I don't know. Let's find out. Basically, we're going to chuck uh, a piece of iron and a piece of and an ender pearl. Let's sort this out. There we go. One ender pearl, please. Let's find out. One ender pearl and then iron. And we can chuck this into here if we really want to. And I'll just show it to prove it. For now, and whilst this is cooking up, there is the other bit where we it's going to work, right? Tell me this. Um, the other we could, there's other ways. Pulsating iron nougats. Oh, ah, go back. Yes, that. Um, it's not the only way of making it. There is the induction smelter, which is one end of pearl and one is one. That's pretty handy. I'm doing this um, Tinker's construct way just to see if it's working. This is pulverized iron here. That's fine. Uh, basically, we can use the induction smelter as we have been. That would work. Or we can use this alloy smelter, which does the same thing. Now, we're going to need the alloy smelter in a minute anyway. Yeah, don't try and right-click on things with something that has an effect when you do right-click on it, because you end up, you miss using the thing. We have here, uh, do you want to speed up a little bit? That would be very helpful. Uh, 144 ingos here. And, oh my goodness, how long does it take to smelt an ender pearl? Get this done. 
We'll see how many ingos this makes us, because if this is more efficient, then maybe we try and figure out a way of doing this more quickly, better. I don't know. We can also put different fuels in here. There are there are hotter things. But, uh, yeah, one ingot. So that's the same. It's exactly the same. Oh, you pillock. Uh, we'll figure that out later. I'll fix that off camera. I, I thought I had an ingot cast in both. Now we have witch water in here, by the way. We should be able to do this and this, and they got soul sand. So it does work. Uh, in theory. Soul sand in. Go. Yep. All right, we can put all the things away. Um, I want to make resin ender, and I want to make it out of out of the induction smelter here. So that's my, we might as well do, do that for now. Like I said, we do need an alloy smelter, but let's get this going. Um, if we get it going a little bit, uh, I don't know if I want to do as much as all of my stuff. We'll also just check out how many more ender pearls we've got. And it's not like the game's been running when I've been off camera, but we shall see if anything has shown up. We do have uh, a couple more opportunities to be getting ender pearls. There's this here, which has produced nothing. And um, oh, there's a mob farm. Let's check the mob farm whilst those cook up. Another thing I'm going to want to do, if we have time in this episode after I've done all the stuff, we do have ender pearls. Oh my goodness, how much stuff is in here. We need to sort this out as well, because this is just ludicrous. Oh my hecking heck. I don't need this much of anything, really. I have nether wart, which is nice. Yeah, who who cares about most of this? The inferium is good. I think we can store that, actually. So let's... If I just do this, it will pull things out that can go away, which is great. I could also replace this with uh, uh, an ender chest, which will just immediately put away anything that can be put away. Which is also good. Uh... Also note that um, if we take things like these buckets and just empty them, we do get free iron out of it. More ender lily things here, so that's also good. We can make a, an ender lily farm if this is going to keep us keep itself going. But um, if we take these, we can smelt them, I think, back into. Uh... Oh, do you know what's happening? It's going to be this thing opening itself, isn't it? Right. Okay. Uh, we'll do. <laughs> Getting sidetracked. I told you I'll get sidetracked. If we empty all these buckets, first of all, then we have a heck load of buckets. But secondly, um, oh, I thought they were going to crash then. Uh, we can smelt them down for the iron if we're that desperate. But I think we're going to be okay for things like iron. And the reason I think that is that we have uh, a mining dimension now where we can just go mining if we. You can go in here. Yes, you are doing as you are told. Tempted to turn that on to make it happen, but never mind. Let us not be distracted by all of these things. We are making this. You finished? We have some more sodium. Right? Brilliant. Now we need to make the other bit. Which is this bit, which is this bit. Gravel, clay, and sand. So I'll just get a bunch of each of those and we'll uh, put it all together. Do I have clay stored correctly? I think it's fine. I've got this clay. Do we need to make clay? I might have to, you know. I've got a lot of dust, which is nice. Uh, you go in there and then give me that. Gravel. Gravel, clay, and sand. Is there any clay? I recognize that this is the inefficient way of playing this game, but, you know, this is how I would be playing if I were just a person who woke up in a stone block. Oh, that's not how I would probably be panicking and going, help, help, I'm stuck, stuck in the stone tomb and then sort of dying slowly of hunger uh, and of loneliness and of all that sort of thing. In fact, if you put me in the stone tomb, I probably would do none of this. In fact, I would just capitulate uh, and wait for blissful oblivion to take me away. But in theory, uh, first of all, obviously now we need to make clay while the sun's up. Oh, but uh, is excuse me. You you've washed away all my mushrooms. Black hole sun, wash away my mushrooms. Oh, I'm transforming. Oh, idiot! It's not how it works. Uh do we have a thing that's making clay? Wait, hang on. Did I not just automate clay or something? Oh, bouncing. <laughs> so, very helpful when you want to not die. Not very helpful when you want to not bounce. Um, I, do, I don't have a source of clay. I'm going to come back in a couple of minutes when I have made a quick source of clay, and then we will continue. See you in a sec. In case you're wondering, I'm just doing this. <laughs> I made the stone barrel. I put it next to this thing. That's sand. 
uh, and I'm just holding down the right mouse button on dust until I get to maybe half a stack of clay blocks. And then we can go and use them. Perfect. Uh, let's do that. I don't know how to delete this, which is very upsetting because I know you all saw me die, but I still want to pretend like it never happened. We can. Uh, here's a bunch of clay, which will turn into this. And then, oh, that's way too much. And then we can turn that into conbind. Conduit binder, which is conduit binder composite, which I probably should first and then we get a whole bunch of that i'm just going to make as much as i can i'm not great tune or play on words let's put this i've got two induction smelt what are you doing you're making steel for me i understand put this in the furnace i uh, wish we can need up one two and with a few of these we are grand 20, 20, 24 that divides by three right do that, and then we can turn these ingos into nougats, and then we have... Where are my ingos? Hello? Pulsating iron ingo. Do I already have a thing? And then they've gone in here. Uh, Red, bronze, iron, iron. Where are my pulsating iron ingos? Did I get them out? I did, right? Because I was cooking them. Poisky, poisky. I told you would be all over the place, didn't I? Do that for now. I'll find them at some point in here. I don't know. Who knows anymore? Here they are. <laughs> Found them. Uh, do that. Uh, and then we want at Ender Conduit. Mm, this one, please. Let's get some of these. One, two. I don't want to use all of this binder because... Um, some of it's going to be more useful for us because we also want fluid conduits, which is going to be this quite clear glass. This was annoying to figure out how to make. You want to... They are all painted with something, but you want the one that's painted with white. So if you look for quite clear glass. If you click on any of them, Pinnitum and Magenta, the recipe is another one with that colour. Except for the white one, which suddenly pops up and has an alloy smelter recipe. Oh, look, we needed an alloy smelter all this time anyway, so we might as well make one. Uh... I did not like this. Not like this. How do you ask for the... Here we go. So it's going to be dark bimetal... Oh, goodness. This is... Excuse me? Okay, good. We can probably make this. We have some grains of infinity. So we have item transfer, but we do not have fluid transfer. Only one. I think we might need two. Where do these come from? We have to sieve, gravel, very low chance, or you can set fire to bedrock, overworld only. Right. Do we need to dig down again? Or a heavy sieve, uh, it's the same, yeah. 2% chance of, sieve. I thought, honestly, I thought I got a lot more of these over time, but we can create these. Um, I'm just not going to do it just yet. Oh dear. And then, of course, the alloy smelter, Can't start it, smelt it. Has a little R2D2 head on it. Um, what is this heck? Why can I make it with? Oh, I see. Oh, I can make a simple alloy smelt. Can I just use this? Let's try this. Stone gear, simple machine chassis. Uh, can I use something else instead of that? Item simple machine chassis. No. Keep away from moisture. High quality enclosed toolkit for building your own machines. Made in Germany. High quality, my friend. Made in Germany, actually made in Germany, China. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Okay. And that is still a grain of infinity. And some iron bars, oh my goodness. Let's just get this done. Give me some of that. There's not very many iron nuggets, considering. We do need to automate a lot more than I have been, and uh, honestly, that's kind of my fault. But at the same time, I'm not going to take any responsibility for it. So, uh, look away. Pretend it doesn't. And we'll all be friends here. Glad that at least we got the, the, the first one, but <laughs> second one that we need here. I'm hoping I can use this. Uh, what do I need here? Two furnaces. I don't have any cobblestone because I needed the other type of stone. Third S is silent. In chassis, by the way. Two of them. Uh, two stone gears. Which is actual stone. You're killing me. Oh. Mouse. Don't be weird. 
Can I not just pick up? I didn't press shift. Shift, there we go, and... Well, if if you see me do a weird looking away thing, it, it was completely an accident. <laughs> it's just that buttons are not pressing as I expect them to, and then... Ah! Everything is difficult to control. Here we go. Alloys and enemies. Okay. Uh, wonder if this is... I wonder if this whole made in China thing is actually a, a big deal right now. Let's put some glass into here. Uh, there is glass. This is another sort of thing we can um, automate with a supply chain sort of majigger. But for now, I'm not going to because I want to sort of dig out a huge, great... I want to make a hall of machines sort of thing, right? So, uh, please. Oh, you... Thank you. Go faster. <laughs> oh, you're going to run out of power. Okay. At least it makes all three at once. It's not per operation. Okay, cool. Uh, that worked, and I'm glad, because I don't really want to go around getting grains of infinity just yet, but... Ender conduits. Ender conduits. What we want is fluid conduits. That's what we want. Eight of those. <laughs> this is not enough, by the way. Uh, we should get more glass. And, and let that cook up. I'm going to do the whole stack. Um, yeah, I haven't really automated anything. and I, I know that's remiss of me, because it's naughty and bad, but I've been enjoying not bothering, so... Thank you. Actually, this is way not enough. I could probably make another sink rather than um, trying to... Well, con uh, have you got any binders? Yes. So when this is made three, actually, we can just... Why haven't you made three? I'm sure I put more than 60 in. Where have you gone? Oh, I don't know. Uh, let's make three. Uh, 16 might be enough. Let's see what happens. Probably quicker to make um, more <laughs> more uh, sink than more conduits, but I'm going to need at least nine, right? So here's what's going to happen: we're going to have a fluid conduit on each of these that will export water into the doodah. Which means, yeah, I'm, I'm going to make another sink because I don't want to waste these things because it turns out they're really expensive to make. Um, well, they're not anymore, but I can't be bothered making them. Sink, sink is pretty simple because it's just stuff, right? So. Oh, it's <laughs> I have to cook a big block of clay. Okay. Uh, right. One, two, three. Right. While this is cooking, we'll just put the other bits together. So the cool thing about Ender IO conduits is that you they can share blocks. Oh, I've got loads more of those as well. Perfect. Uh, so if I excuse me, is that music? Are you can try and tell me that's music. What the heck was that? Oh, I'm so scared. Um, those are the fluid conduit, but we're conduit we're wits, but also we can put item conduits in. See this? So, oh, we need a. Do we need a yetter wrench? Do we make a yetter wrench? Question. Let's see. We need the the configurator tool that allows you to configure the, these items, and I don't think that the crescent hammer is going to suit. I don't think we found a Yetta wrench, because I don't think we've done any Ender I.O. yet. Yetta wrench, here it is. Uh, which is electrified steel ingots and... Mm, electrical? Not electrified, electrical. Uh, which is... Induction smelter with silicon and steel. Well, we've got some steel, right? The steel in here? Steel. Steel boots, which I probably can't smelt down into actual steel, which is significantly annoying. Steel, and then double click. New. No. There's a flint and steel. Does that help? I mean, steel's easy to make right now because we can uh, turn. I'm pretty sure it was coal and iron, right? Have we got an iron left? My inventory is getting full up quite quickly because I am bad. Well, I don't think it was pulverized coal. I think it was pulverized charcoal, wasn't it? So if we cook up some charcoal... Doo -doo -doo. I'm going to get some coal just in case. Uh, well, there's some charcoal anyway. Coal just in case it's that. I'm going to check over here because I think if I put here is pulverized coal. If I put a piece of iron in here, turn into... Steel ingot. Electrical steel ingot of steel, 
which is made of ooh hang on I have a cunning plan they're not my lord I have a cunning plan you put sand in here I don't know I wonder I haven't got any iron. It's all over the place. Um, stop bouncing. What was, what was I about to do? I was going to put this in here. Fix it up. And then I should be able to... This? No! No! <laughs> I hate you. Okay, never mind that. Um, in this one, if we wanted a steel ingot... I'm going to go through this every time because... It... Uh, we want induction smelter... I mean, there's many steel things that we could melt down, but it all seems to be Thermal Foundation's own stuff, right? Uh, four pulverized coal and one iron ingo. So we do need uh, pulverized coal. There's any more of it than we currently have. And are you going to go straight into there? Is that how I set this up? Am I clever? I might be clever. Get this done. Yes. All right. So let's put some of that in there. Uh, you can go faster too. So obviously if I wanted... Um, steel I should just be able to put coal into here and iron into here and wait but I'm not prepared to wait um, so we're looking for electrical steel wait where were we we wanted a yetta wrench a yetta wrench. so we wanted yet electrical steel which is simply steel and silicon we've got a ridiculous amount of silicon by accident just from this thing so, excuse me need you up here Thank you uh, here Gonna cook? You are gonna cook, but you've gone slow again. I didn't ask you to do that. And there's one at a time, right? Yeah. That's okay. Go faster. We've got a lot of time in this thing. Look. Twelve hours in there. So I have no problem with just Oh, cool. let's take this out again and then you can keep putting that in there at your leisure. Um great. I'm glad we're getting things done. Let's have some pizza. <laughs> Yum, yum, yum. Right. Get a wrench per lease. Stone gear per lease. We're going to have to put some of this stuff away again, but here we have a yetter wrench. Right. This is a little bit more complicated to use than other things because there's left clicks and right clicks, and I've got to remember which one's which where everything goes wrong. If I left click here, right click. Okay. Right click changes the thing you're pointing at. So that is the fluid conduit. So those are all going to be in. See how there's an arrow on it and it changes? Uh, please. That disconnects the thing. I don't want you to disconnect the thing. If you shift left click, you just get to choose. <laughs> there's the items, there's the fluids, right? So fluid is going to be insert on each of these. Uh, fluid. I mean, it doesn't have to be it. I don't have to do this. But I am doing it. So just to show you that you can, right? It doesn't seem to matter which one you click on when you... See how you can select different parts of it? Um, it doesn't really matter which part of it you select at this point. There's nine square... Well, there's eight. Can't select the middle one, but if you what if you shift left, if you shift scroll wheel, you can choose whether you're looking at um, liquid or uh, item things. And I, I, what did I click on there? How did I do that? There we go. You click on this. Shift left, click on that. Liquid down is insert. So see how that disappeared completely? That's because I disconnected it by accident. Uh, I want right. So that's done that. That's done that. I don't even know <laughs> what I'm doing. You're going to be insert. Yeah, when I right click, you can see the framework of the previous one, of the hidden one, is actually kind of in the wrong place. So if you right click on the side of that, you get to pick whether it's connected or not. Yeah? But I can't see what I'm right clicking on the side of. Yeah, so that turns it on and off. Brilliant. Uh, also, we want to right click on this, change that. There we go. It is working. It's just that it seems to be... Yeah, occasionally it's just not doing what I anticipated. Really strange. Uh, I don't know. But they're all pointing downwards, so now we can see they're all going to be insert mode. I didn't need to do any of that, but I want to show you that it can be done. If you shift scroll wheel now to the items, uh, this is energy, this is redstone, this is goodness knows what. We haven't got all of these, basically. Uh, and then this is items. So now you can see the item conduits independently of the fluid conduits, and they are all going to be... Well, this is interesting. They're actually going to be both. Shift, left click. The item mode is going to be insert on green, but we're going to extract on brown. So what you have here is each of these 
has a oh actually brown always empty brown always empty so each of these has 16 channels that it can carry items over one for each color of the minecraft rainbow also you can insert an extract separately on different channels so each of these is going to be insert on green and extract on brown which means in this little network that we've got going on here green is going to represent fresh sand i.e green sand brown is going to represent murky sand i.e um soul sand right uh have i got the stuff ready for my sink yet just get rid of some of this stuff <laughs> uh let's get rid of this don't need the clay don't need this clay. you all can go away ah this doesn't work if the first thing in the slot can't be handled do you see that or maybe none of that has anywhere to go uh, let's assume that's the case. Yeah, okay, none of it has anywhere to go. That's fine. We're going to keep... Get rid of the wood. Get rid of... I don't really care. Mushrooms. All of these could probably live somewhere in that network that I still haven't fixed up yet. So that's an option. Um, and then the final thing is I want to pull these out and have them dump into that, uh, that large box that I've got next to the crafting tables. If they haven't got anywhere else to go. Otherwise, this is going to fill up very quickly indeed. But that's for the future. I'll probably do that off camera and show you later. But uh, we wanted to make a sink. So now we get a bucket of water from the other sink. And the reason I'm doing this is just to save on a few conduits. Because they're uh, slightly expensive. We're not hecking it. Oh, we, we wanted to. Right, we were cooking it. Keep up. Again, I apologise. I'm not really with it today. I'm doing my best. Uh, but... The best you can is good enough, that's what they said. What was on top of a sink? Was it iron? Because I just put all my iron away. Yeah. Iron, iron, any, any, any old iron. You. That there, that there, that there. It's a sink, great. So we can just bung a sink on top of here like this. Item sink has no valid outputs, cannot receive sink. I, 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 I... Don't know what that means. But we should find that these, if I tell this, be on liquid mode and then shift left click this. See, if there's two connections, you get the opportunity to pick which one's which. Uh, extract always active and then these all start filling up with water. Absolutely fabulous. Brilliant. Could not ask for more than that. Uh, let's get our item conduits. And then here's what we're going to have to do. We're going to have to set up this material stonework factory. Now sand is this one. So we want to set this to be uh, basically just the back. And everything else really shouldn't be being pulled out at all, which is... Uh, there doesn't appear to be a way of quickly doing that. Basically, I want to avoid these being pulled out of anywhere by accident unless it's sand, right? So all of these are going to stay as they are. Uh, or rather the opposite. I'm going to turn them all off except for this one, which is the... I think this is the back, but this might be the back because this is a... Oh, no. Side, front. Side, left. Side, back. Okay, cool. Um, That's perfect. So we are now going to do this. Like that to there. And ask you to extract on this yes, screen. Always active. So you should now be filling... Oh, there you go. Perfect. So the only reason these are still in here is because we haven't got anywhere to put the brown channel. So it's not extracting anything on the brown channel because there's no insert for the brown channel. So all we need to do is come over here, take a draw. Stack. <laughs> um, I, I, I just don't want one, but I'll take a stack. And then we can come up here. I mean, this could be an ender chest, but I'm not going to do that just yet. Uh, bung this here. Put this to... Extract no, insert on brown, and then all of a sudden we should find it's filling up. So these ta -ta -ta, are filling up slowly with water. When they do fill up with water, they get sand from here, which is now going to be producing sand at an alarming rate because it's been pulled out. And do your job. Right, when these turn into witch water, which is a slow process at the moment, of course it was always going to be. Uh, I like the fact you can see the water in there, that's really cool. But when they finally turn into witch water, why are you not extracting the soul sand? I can see your soul sand. Down. Extract. Always active. Down. Extract. Always active. So you, I don't think there's a way of telling whether it is 
actually always active or not from this view. You can see how you can see there's a green insert and a brown outsert extract. Uh, but it doesn't, uh, doesn't matter. Just do a quick check. If nothing, something's not working, just do a quick check. Uh, and you can turn this off so you can see everything. Perfect. That is automated soul sand. We've got nine of them so far. I'm going to leave that for now because uh, obviously I'm going to really want to um, pull them out in, in hefty chunks and craft them up and then sieve them in the heavy sieve, which has got the diamond mesh in it and also just gets things going faster. But eventually we're also going to want to automate sieving in general, which is something we can do. But uh, I think I'm happy with that. I, I'm going to leave that for today and then we're going to start planning what we're going to do with the... Uh, mob farm over here because this is outrageous and ludicrous and silly. Yeah, I, who needs all this crap? Nobody needs all this crap. Why are there loot crates in here uh, when you should be in there? Unless this is full. Is this full? It doesn't seem to say whether it's full or not. In theory, this should be putting them all in there. Maybe there were already some in here. I don't know. I'm going to clear this out um, a little bit off camera anyway because you know I've got a lot of stuff. To Soul sand, perfect. There's got a lot of stuff that needs to find a way home and things like that. So let me do this off camera. Just empty this for now. And then after that, we can think about how we're going to make sure that none of this stuff is here, basically. We don't want any of that. We want to keep some of it, probably, because we're going to need it down the line. Doggo's going to help out by guarding the stacks there. And then anything beyond what we don't really care about here, we just delete. We have got a trash... Did I put the trash can down? I made a trash can, but I think I got rid of it again. Uh, we'll see how that works in the next episode. But until then, thank you for watching this one. I uh, apologize that it's been a little bit hither and thither, but then I guess they all are, and I'm probably just being paranoid, so don't worry about it. I'll see you next time.